What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a simple but yet very powerful sales funnel, okay? So we're gonna be talking about is a couple of things in this video. We're gonna be talking about A, email marketing aspect and the tools that we're gonna be using and B, the psychology behind how we're gonna create this sales funnel with our email marketing platform, okay? So I won't be talking about too much on the front end marketing. What I mean by front end marketing is a lead generation, content marketing, paid marketing, etc., etc. More or less in this video, we'll be focusing on the back end marketing. How do you actually convert your leads in your CRM? Okay. If you want more information about lead generation, paid traffic, just head over to my website, amirosic.com. So let's hypothetically play out the scenario over here. Let's say you get an email today and somebody opts into your list. This is a system that I have set up currently for one of the membership websites that we own. As soon as an email opts in, the first email, like literally the first email they get, you guys can see that, is email one and it's called indoctrination email. In this email, what you wanna talk about is your whole philosophy on why you started the company, but not more or less about the company, more or less about you as the founder and as the CEO of that enterprise. There has to be a reason why you wake up every single day and build this wonderful company of yours. And people relate to people. They don't relate to brands, an in, in image of a brand. People relate to people. This is known as empathy. It has to deal with one of our NLP principles. That being said, really take your time, okay? and craft your personal message as the founder and as a CEO of the company because what's the old saying? Don't judge a book by its cover? Well, that's bullshit. Everyone judges a book by its cover. So people are gonna judge you as soon as they opt into your email list. And if they're reading that and it just feels dull, black and white, like another company, like another brand, they're gonna forget about you. You wanna leave an impression on the person's mind. That's what marketing is about. Marketing is about building trust and gaining attention of your clients. It's not being, you know, mediocre that, oh yeah, that person. No, it's about sticking out from everybody else. And this is how you stick out right away. So that's email one. Then, 24 hours later, I send them email two. The why email. Now this is, not, this is more or less talking about your company. Why did you start your company? What is the philosophy of your company? What is the ethos of your company? What is your mantra of the, your company? So the first email was you as an individual. The second email now is about your company. And I recommend if you have employees or if you have uh, team members, take pictures of your employees, take pictures of your office, even, even better yet, show them videos of your workplace. People wanna be connected to an amazing company that does amazing things. For example, let's say you have an amazing workspace that you would be proud to work in every single day, show them that. Take pictures of it, show, show them that the beauty, the feng shui of the place, relate to your prospects. People love awesome companies that work well together, that treat their employees as families. Okay, so that's email two. Email three. Future framing the what email. So in this email, you wanna educate them and show them what they're about to learn and receive from you. It's benefit oriented. So in email three, you wanna say, hey, coming soon in the next following emails, you're gonna be receiving you know, videos about marketing, videos about you know, sales, videos about NLP, whatever your company focuses on and you wanna be future framing them and using positive connotations to project them into the future because you wanna attach your brand with a positive connotation. Okay, so you get the gist of it. It's not complicated. What I usually recommend for email three is a video as opposed to text. It's about two to three lines inside the email and then make them make a CTA so they click the link in the email and takes them to a video. A video is so much more powerful. See, I can, I can probably spend 20 hours writing this whole process and system out, but this is more personable, this is more intimate, this has more empathy with you and I. So that's email three. Email four, boom, it's the surprise. Okay, so email four is a surprise. People love surprises, okay? Everybody loves a gift, everybody, everybody, everybody. 
Figure out what you can give your lead. It can be join a private group, it can be a free book, it can be a free report, it can be anything. So think about what can you offer your prospects, your clients to take them from here to there. Okay, so let's say they're at a level seven out of 10. What can you give them that's gonna bring them up to a level eight or nine? People love surprises and what surprises do, it imprints that emotional connection with your brand and people are gonna be talking about you, yapping about you, gabbing about you and that's the best way to do marketing. Word of mouth, it's slow, but the most powerful way to do it. So add 10x value towards your leads, surprise them with something amazing. I've given you some options over here, private membership club on the side, uh, you know, free book, free rapport, free white paper, whatever it may be, but shock and surprise them and add value. So that's email four. Email five. So this comes 72 hours later after email four. So email one to four, 24, 24, 24, 24. Email five, about three days or so afterwards. Email five is a webinar. And usually with our webinars, we're selling products north of 497. And it's a straight call to action in the webinar. We're selling the webinar in the email. Let's say the webinar topic is about, you know, how to generate 10X leads on your website in the next 90 days. So we pitch the webinar in the email. The whole point of the email is we want them to click on the CTA. They click the email, go to the webinar page, sign up for the webinar, and the webinar usually happens within 48 hours of signing up. We don't have a one week promotion, we have a 48 hour promotion. So that's email five. Webinar, and it's, you know, your webinar, you don't have to sell on the webinar, we sell on the webinar. You can have an educational webinar, you can have uh, sequential webinars where it's like series one, series two, series three, then a third one you sell. You gotta figure out in your marketing pipeline where a webinar fits. And I don't care what company you're in or what vertical you're in, whether that is e-commerce, SaaS, purely digital, or even you know uh, B2B, webinars work for you, okay? So that was email five. Email six. So the people who didn't sign up for email five, they're gonna get email six. And email six is last chance to see the webinar. So we're giving people literally the last 24 hours to sign up. Same idea, we're pitching the benefits of the webinar to sign up. People sign up, boom, it takes them to the webinar. Okay, and that's it. This is simple, it gets much more complex and convoluted. It becomes more fractal based on behavior, based on lead scoring, based on so many different other variable dynamics. However, if you're just starting out or if you don't even have a simple email marketing system, I highly recommend you do this. So let's recap before I get into the tools. Email one, what are you gonna do? Indoctrinate them. Show them how much you kick ass. Email two, show them why your company is amazing. Email three, future frame them. If they stick around, what is the benefits of that? Email four, surprise, surprise, baby. Shock them. Email five, webinar time. Oh yeah. Email six, last chance, baby, last chance. So that's the system. And now, here are the tools that I personally use, or we use in our companies. So for the actual email itself, the CRM, we use Active Campaign. There's many other ones out there. You can use Infusionsoft, or how I like to call it, Confusionsoft. <laughs> Everybody has their own uh, biases towards it, but it's I, I find it too complicated. So we use Active Campaign, and then for the webinar platform, we use Ever Webinars because our webinars are automated. If you're doing live webinars, you can use Webinar Jam or Go to Meeting or Go to Webinar, either or. I don't have a preference for any of them except for the automated one. I found that Ever Webinar is the best. And finally, for the creation of the webinar pages, the landing pages, the CTA pages, we use ClickFunnels. So those are three tools. They're very simple, easy to learn. You can teach anybody in your company, any employee to learn these. Just takes them a weekend or so. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole marketing sales funnel for uh, converting your leads into screaming, raving clients of yours. If you guys want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave a comment below this video. I'm actually curious to know what type of uh, marketing funnels you created in the past. And also, what is your number one problem when it comes to closing leads when it comes to online? All right, adios, my friends. Talk to you soon.